Hello, and welcome to The Great Work. This is a game by Swedish developer Nifles, uh, and it's made for a documentary called The Year of the Alchemist in Swedish. And uh, apparently that's about, like, some IT manager who gives up his job for a year to study or practice alchemy. So I don't know if that's any indication of how long this game's gonna be, if it's just a short game or not, but uh, I figured we'd try it. Uh, because I am a giant fan of Nifles, I played most of his games. There are some that I just haven't played, and uh, I guess I'll get into that more as we go along. And uh, yeah, let's uh, start with the tutorial so you can see what the game is about. I have played this before, but only about an hour, as I usually do. Alright, so you move with left and right, and press S to jump, and when I started this I was like, S to jump? Are you kidding me? Like, Nifless usually doesn't do that, but it kind of makes sense. Spacebar D to open inventory, A to equip items. These are my spring extensions. and. The game has a very interesting art style with, uh, I think many of the uh, items are like photographs or like, I don't know, these these don't look like photographs per se, but you'll see, it's just, it's really interesting how the art style plays in. And now we can jump higher with the spring ex extensions. And if you find a container like this, you can open your inventory and you get both of your uh, inventories, so you can even, like, yeah, you should keep this item to yourself, so you can put stuff in if the game lets you. So we get some arsenic and some sticky gloves, and just look at that image, it's so funny. When equipped, hold A to grab a wall, and then S to perform a wall jump. And let's equip them. So now we can do this to grab on, but uh, this is kind of where uh, this game is different from his other games, at least most of them. In most of his games, the gravity is very floaty, and you can actually, like, wall jump. If you have a wall jump, you can wall jump up. But here, the character is pretty heavy, so the, uh, like, maneuverability is quite limited. But he, uh, wait, did, oh, it just said, don't forget to uh, equip the thing. Uh, but yeah, it's quite limited but there's a lot of stuff to make up for that. Hi, Isaac Newton sent me to find some arsenic for one of his experiments. If you have some, I would exchange it for my hand claws. Or, yeah, whatever. So, if I try to just take this, she says, please give me the arsenic first. If I try to give her something else, it just says, you, sh you, should, yeah, you should keep this for yourself. So let's give her the arsenic. And if I stop now, she says, hey, don't forget your hand claws. And I grab the hand claws, and she says, thank you. She says, thank you for the arsenic. So now we equip the hand claws. When equipped, hold A to grab onto the roof. Press left or right while hanging to climb. So now we can do this, clang, cl and climb around. And that sort of makes this game a bit more uh, interesting, in my opinion. And that's the tutorial level. So let's get into it, and uh, this is my game, my previous game from like a year ago. Uh, I'll just go with uh, with slot 3 for now. Fulcanelli says, I managed to produce some red powder that I think might be the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, powder. I want to know if it works. Please take it and see if you can use it to create gold. Red powder. That's not red. What the hell? This powered powder may or may not be the Philosopher's Stone. Now I expect you to return with some gold. <laughs> I guess we're just going down. Home. Oh, this is my home? Okay. Map of Dew Mines. Home is up there at the age. Desert, mountains, moon cave, sun cave, unknown, chest. Wait, where's the sea? 
for chests. Oh, there, yeah. And there's an altar, an eddy, and a coffin. You might want to check those out. Alright, so let's grab that. And a tract. Okay. And as always with the uh, Nifless games, the music and the graphics are just phenomenal in this. And this guy is not friendly. Oh right, we need... Yeah. Very odd death screen. Also, uh, sorry about the aspect ratio, this is not gonna be... 16x9, because this game isn't 16x9. Uh, so I guess we can't do anything here yet. There's the altar, but I don't think... Oh, nice. I love the swimming mechanics in this game. It's very fluid. But yeah, we can't do anything with the altar yet. Let's see if there's anything up here. There's a dog. Just look at those graphics. It's so weird. Like, realistic, but odd. Woof. So I guess I need to give him something. Probably, like, a bone. Oh, and of course, there's a coffin. Probably has a bone, I would imagine. Let's go down here. found a bottle of honey. Equip this to attract some creatures that would otherwise ignore you. And Stibnite. Man, these graphics are so fascinating. Let's equip that. And this is a current, and this is a current, so we can't go these directions. We can go down, but... Oh, I found a tract. Excuse my voice again. I'm really hoarse now. Right, so there's not really anything we can do right now. So let's go back and uh, go to that thing. Uh, the porcupine looking fella. So yeah, you'll see now, if we do this, he goes crazy. Uh, I wonder if we can jump up here and... Oh, no we can't. So maybe we have to do it like this. Run! Nope. Hmm. Oh, wait. I think I get it. Then we just unequip that, and he won't care about us anymore. Nice, nice. I didn't remember that. Wait, this isn't... no. It's kind of hard to tell where the screen ends and where there's, like, uh, some place to go. We found a bone. We found a... Cupel? Couple? Probably cupel or something. Oh. Oh. No. Iron and a right sticky glove. When one glove is equipped, hold A to grab a wall and then S to perform a wall jump. And let's equip these. So now we can hang on to walls. That's nice. like this. But yeah, we can't really climb walls, because in this game you can't wall jump up. Don't think we can get up there yet, but we can go to the dog and give him his bone. Give the dog a bone.
Woof. Here, have a bone. Woof. Woof, woof. <laughs> Grr. Okay, okay. So let's equip the sticky glove left. When two gloves are equipped, press up or down while grabbing a wall to climb it. So now we can wall climb. Like this. And you can, if you want, you can, like, leave things at your home. I'm not sure if you have to do that, like, if you have an inventory limit or something. But, uh, it would be pretty interesting if you did. Alright. There's a guy. <laughs> August Strindberg. Uh... That's, that's pretty funny, if you don't know who he is, uh, just Google it. The great secret lies within the alcohol. Being sober is not the way to warp your head around the complexity of alchemy. I could really use a drink, by the way. <laughs> and he has lead, but I need to give him alcohol first. I want something for that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Nope. I don't want that. And here's something. Map of Sun Cave. So the Sun Cave was to the right. So this is sort of a continuation of the map. Teleporter usage. Teleportation box. Usage. Put an item in the box. The item will now also simultaneously exist in all other teleportation boxes in this area. Two. Pick up the item from the same or another teleportation box. Warning! The box is airtight. Do not put animals or children in the Model C360 teleportation box. They will suffocate. Do not put weapons or explosives in the Model 3 C360 teleportation box. An explosion from within the box will also simultaneously... Simultaneously? Spelling error. Occur in every other linked teleportation unit, causing massive damage to the weak points. Alright, so it's sort of a uh, storage for moving items. Let's see what's down here. Oh, it's the, uh, yeah, so we don't want to go down there, or we're just gonna... Well, I guess there could be something. Let's try to... No, there wasn't anything, but there could have been, like, an exit. Still don't think we can get the, uh, whatever that is. So, let's go back to, the, to uh, August, I guess. Yeah, let's head up here. Um, as I was saying, I've played most of Niflis' games. Um, I've played uh, Within the Deep Forest, I've played Knit, I've play played Knit Stories and Knit Underworld, Underworld? Underground? Yeah, Underground. Uh, and uh, Night Sky, and uh, what else did he make? I can't even forget forget? I can't even forget. Um, I have not played Syra or Syra. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. And I haven't played uh, Finnick or Finnick. Again, not sure how to pronounce that. But uh, I am such a big fan of his and uh, I may end up doing some Let's Plays of games that I've already played, but right now I kind of feel like Let's Playing Blind because I don't know, it's just... Wait, can I get get up there? It's just a bit more fun, in my opinion. But, uh... I almost just want to make Let's Plays of those games, because they deserve it. They deserve... Not that I can give them much attention, per se, but... At least... Trying to. Because, uh... People need to play those games more. They are fun... 
Fantastic. Kibele Freihere. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, if it's German or something. If you lend me an item, I can tell you something valuable about it. You should keep this to yourself. This is used as a container when you melt metals in a furnace. Iron is used in many alchemical processes. Perhaps you can find a track that tells you how to use it. The dew mines are to the west. You are in the sun cave right now. That's odd. I have no idea what this red powder is. You can process this into a regulus, re regulus of antimony. Look for a track that tells you how to do it. You will find three teleportation boxes in the area. Two are located in the moon cave and one can be found, found in the sun cave. Just a moment, I'll make some notes. This process requires a furnace. We'll find one here in the sun cave. Just head straight up and to the west. So, cupel and furnace with iron and stibnite makes a regulus. Alright. And tract 4, can you explain this? Just a moment, I'll make some notes. I added some explanations so that you can understand the tract better. Okay, gold, lead, philosopher's stone, cupel and furnace as usual. So I need lead and the philosopher's stone inside a furnace to make gold? That seems awfully simple. And this is Vesilius Valentine, or something, or Valentine. To a true alchemist, antimony is the starting point to find the process of making gold. If you can bring me a regulus of antimony, I'll, I'll give you an item for it. You'll give me flippers or hand claws. Give me it, the item I need first. Or un. Nothing in the house. Let's go down. Oh, I can't get up here. It's probably gonna lead down to the, uh, the stream, so I'll leave that for now. Also, uh, no. Hold on, I just want to check this again. Does it say antimony anywhere? I'm not sure what an antimony is, if it's a, like, uh, a, uh, what's it called? I mean, I, uh, blah. I am totally blanking. If it's a thing, or if it's a thing. So, this is a furnace. So, let's try and make a cupel, iron, and stibnite. And it's processing. And we now have a regulus of antimony. So apparently it's some sort of metal or something like that. Uh, let's just check this out. It's back home. Okay. All right. So now here's the thing. If I give him this, he will take one item, either the flippers or the hand claws. When I played before, I took the hand claws because I, because I, uh, because I figured climbing on like ceilings is, or the ceiling is amazing and I want to do that. But um, I kind of ran into a dead end where I was like, I didn't really know where to go. And uh, I mean, I could have probably figured it out if I went on for long enough. But since I've already tried them, I think I'll go with with uh, the flippers for now. So you'll uh, you'll swim faster. Sorry, but I want to hold on to that. Give me an item I need. Wait. Ah, so you can't. That would have been cool if you could trade them in, but 
I need a flask for an experiment. If you can find me one, I'll give you these hand claws. Alright, so... Depending on which one you choose, you'll uh, get an item. Like, uh, you'll, you'll need another item. So you can always get both, but you just have different paths. Wait, I can seriously not out-swim this current? Then what's the point of the flippers? Is it so that I can, like, jump higher from the water? I guess I can go this way. Um, I think maybe I should... Oh, those are spikes. I thought they were grass. But, uh... Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should quit for now. I'm not sure how saving exactly works in this. I can't remember. But I think you restart at home every time, maybe, possibly. Uh, I'll just go back to my home. No! Alright, should be up here. Yep. Um, so, yeah, if you just press escape, then it brings you there, and if I go back... Oh! Okay, well that works, I guess. So, uh, I'm gonna end it here. I think this, this was a uh, reasonably successful pilot episode, and we'll see how long the series goes on for. So, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!